did you see Mark O'Donovan's post on historians? There has been a big debate. Can a time series database replace a historian on the plant floor? His take? No. But that doesn't mean time series databases don't belong in manufacturing. A true historian like Canary or Pi is built for plant floor operations, where speed and simplicity matter most. So that means it has to be first easy to manage, so designed for OT teams, not IT, and second, give you fast data retrieval with also third built-in visualizations to support quick troubleshooting. Meanwhile, time series databases primarily just focus on historizing the data. They may not meet all of those needs of a true historian and are usually managed more on the IT side. Now, for example, Influx and QuestDB are great free open source time series databases that can provide data to support enterprise AI and reporting. Or you can even put them at the edge to support quick, free open source dashboards. But the takeaway is, it's not historian or a time series database, it's both. And a unified namespace ties it all together. The UNS acts as the single source of truth, ensuring that both the historians and time series databases use the same structured real-time data and the UNS enables flexibility. You can start with a historian and add a time series database later, swap components as needed, and even push data into the cloud for AI and machine learning. So thank you, Mark, for that amazing breakdown. And I highly recommend all of you give him a follow on LinkedIn or check out what he's saying in the Industry4 Community Discord.